there on that list. Again, we have uh, maintenance, uh, two night irons and maintenance expenses, and we generally do look at those. And, and uh, just to let you know what, uh, what's going on there, if you look at the equipment, uh, uh, maintenance of $2,179. Uh, we have Info, Info Tracker Needle. Uh, that's our lead tracking software that CVB uses to track uh, uh, hotel rooms used and whatnot uh, for both, uh, I guess, the uh, Meeting conference business, also sports commission business. It's all, it's all tracking outside leads we get from the website. Here we send packages out to all that's tracked through the info track the software. That says we had the annual yield on that of $1,300. We also had a condenser unit in our freezer of $900 that we uh, did replace. Uh, actually, we replaced it in the previous month. We had a leak and uh, we had to do some more work on it. Now, we did negotiate with them since they replaced it a couple months ago. We had a leak in the system. We just kind of said we think you should have found that leak and put a new condenser on it kind of charge it back up. So uh, they did come off uh, half on the Freon, that, which was actually $400 on the Freon that goes into that unit. So they did come off half on that. So we, we did get a, uh, at least a decent deal on that on that maintenance. Uh, the next line item, uh, maintenance on the building. Um, we have to look at the building maintenance, 2436 The bulk of that, we did have a $2,100 charge from Siemens for uh, work above and beyond the maintenance contract. We did have some problems with the uh, uh, drive on our, one of our large air handler units. Uh, it was having a hard start. So we had, it was kind of burning belts, starting too fast. We had to get that uh, some programming done on that drive and some repair work with some new belts. That is all uh, completed now. Uh, replace the supply bed on the air handler as well. And I can, I'll just say in, in the HVAC system overall, we do have new direct operations that you'll make sure that, And we're making we're making good headway. You, you kind of got this good you got the big chiller and then the grand hall and the gazebo rooms have their own air handling units. Then you get into the smaller rooms, the garden suites, and the offices in the hallway. They have three big air handlers, but then when you get to the rooms, it's broken up. We also have these things called PIU units. Each room had its own little PIU unit that also has its own fan, and its own heating element, its own damper. Uh, so we've gotten into PIU units a lot lately. And uh, of the, we've got about <coughs> 15 of those in the building. And really about half of them have some type of issue. Not major, some of them, some of them, the damper uh, was not functioning. The motor, uh, the shaft wasn't turning, but it was the damper. Uh, we've got some heating elements out on probably a third of those. So we're working in the replacement of some of those items right now. So we'll continue to work on the HVAC and we'll get back up to uh, exactly where it needs to be because we've got, we've got a good handle on it and we kind of understand what all the issues are and work continues, I guess, a pace uh, in that area.